gives you energy. Okay, and um, I noticed something, and this is this is exactly why I wanted you here today. So this is a very big question. I've talked about fitness uh, a lot on my channel regarding grappling, judo, wrestling. So a lot of people, when they want to look at a good physique or they want to be, you know, someone to look up to, they always look at people like Mariama Joshiro. Um, Chohei Ono, your brother Takeshi, your brother looks scary. He's he looks very strong, and I've noticed when I look at them, they have something in common. Their legs are big, and the neck and the traps are also big. Everything else is also very good, but the special body parts are always the neck and traps, and their legs they're very big. So, for the people that want to train something that can help them, just like you know. Ono and Mariama and your brother Takeshi. What are the exercises? Like maybe three or four or five exercises that can they can focus on that can help their judo and their strength, obviously, and their sets and reps. Yeah, legs are big. I think the that's the uh, main common point of those between play those big players. I think the running training is not that's uh, not lackable, how do you say, like, you, yes. that's... Not everyone that's, likes to go running, that's true. Yeah, everyone likes to go running, especially on stairs, mm. because, or on a mountain. Uh, we, we love uphill trainings, like mm. sprint, it could be sprint. Uh, mostly we are doing sprint, I guess. But if you want to, if some of, those players who wanted to do running training for um, making their stab stamina, mm -hmm. I think they were running on a mountain for 30 minutes, one hour. And Tokyo University, uh, Tokyo University's running training were also uh, divided for two types: run running training on a uh, in a mountain just to climb on the top, climb to the top of the mountain, and another was. The other was running on the stairs. Okay, so, this can develop your legs. I but in the gym, in the weight lifting room, what are some of the exercises? For example, I see your brother. He does uh, chin ups a lot with weights. I see Ono, for example, doing squats or um, snatches, and I see Mariama doing squats. So, if we were to focus on three or four exercises that can help. Like the the key exercises or the most important exercises in the gym, what would they be? I think deadlift and squat. Okay. Yes. So that's I, the foundation. Mostly, so those uh, exercises also in the mm, my university, and I also think that my brother used to do that more often. <laughs> Deadlift. Deadlifting and squatting. So that's the foundation for a good judo for the legs and the back, mm. obviously. I think I think there are some various various ways uh, mm. to to get down this uh, exercise, but I think they mm -hmm. they mostly do deadlift and squats. Mm. I, and I, I don't think they. Uh, they do some like really specific special trainings for for that. Mm. I think they're okay. doing those basic training and also integrating those uh, exo exo anxiety uh, mm -hmm. to judo with judo. Mm. So I think they're exo they exhaust uh, their own legs by judo's randori most most. Uh, Round the training yes. and also gym weight lifting by mm. that lifting and squats. Mm. So um, I see also you and your brother and Ono do a lot of rowing, like heavy dumbbells, and you just pull it. Yeah. So rows, heavy rows, heavy deadlifts, and heavy squats are the like the foundation for a good physique for judo. You, you would think. Uh, Yes, I I think so. Yeah, because if you if you think about it now that I 
that you told me that these are the big three for them. Um, that would explain the big neck and the traps with deadlifts and also the big legs with squats. And how many sets and reps? Uh, I think this is very depending on the, uh, each players. Hmm. But mostly, uh, um, my my brother also told my I talk with him very quite quite often, mm -hmm. and I think he's just thinking not to um, not to come back home alive. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> if someone someone is a beginner beginner. He wants to start, or he or she wants to start at the gym, and they. And now they know that deadlift squats and dumbbell rows or barbell rows are the foundation. If they want to start their beginner, how many sets and reps? Like, what's the best rep range they start with, you know, to get stronger and consistently add weights? I think 10, 10 reps. Mm -hmm. And how many sets? This is just uh, depends in, how, in which set you could be like. Not really moving. <laughs> ah, okay. So till yes. failure, basically. Until uh, from three sets uh, till five sets. I think between those yeah. sets, you can exhaust your body enough. Right. And twice a week is, is a good frequency, in my opinion. As you mentioned earlier, uh, you said Monday weightlifting and Thursday weightlifting, and you had cardio twice a week and judo six days a week so that that's that's a good frequency to recover the muscles and you know lifting weights and constantly adding weight on the bar it, it i think it's good a lot of people think that you have to because mm, uh some players are also dividing three like for three actions pushing day pulling day and leg day ah, and okay. they're doing mm. repetition uh like most most every day hmm. wow yeah but if you're 20 of course you can do that but if you're 28 or starting to get to 30 and you've been doing judo for more than you know, 15 20 years it's gonna start to break your body hmm. yeah that's true but yeah as you, you mentioned earlier a lot of the japanese players they added their own training on top of the two days a week with the team? I, I'm sorry, did you, uh, can you, can you repeat? Okay, I'll repeat, I'll repeat. You said earlier, you said that a lot of the players added training on their own. Yes. Okay, so to, but the main focus was two days a week, weightlifting two days a week, going running and judo six days. That's the yes. basic. Okay. Yes. So, all right. So if, if anyone wants to train, you know, having a good sense of training, they will focus most, mostly on squats, deadlifts and heavy ropes. Yes. Obviously they have to do the other stuff like bench pressing is very important. Uh, but it's mostly pulling and having strong legs for bench press, squat, uh, bench press, squatting, and deadlifts, deadlifting, plus mm -hmm. et, et cetera. We we had some like weight training training mm -hmm. uh, menu. Yes. Links, uh, in a file, I don't really. I think snatch was there too. Is, is snatch really important because there's. There's a famous video of Ono snatching, and is it really important as deadlifts and squats, or if you want, you can do it? Yeah, I think to integrate uh, the weightlifting sense of the physical sense of the weightlifting to judo, I think snatching is mm. quite important. Okay, all right. To make so power speed. cleans and snatch. Power cleans. Because I think it's good for the for the trap muscles, the way you, you pull it, power clean or the snatch. And if you see, for example, the uchimata, the way the Japanese they do, they, they pull like this. So it's very much like, a, like the same movement of the power clean or snatch. I think this is more like momentum training. Hmm. 
Yes, not not about the direction so much uh, in order to integrate to judo, but mm. uh, it's about the um, how you say the um, the amount of power in the in the moment mm. uh, to increase the amount of the power in the moment. Right. Okay, yeah. I get it. Oh, so that explains that explosive entry in judo, like all of a sudden. Yes. 